Now we're going to look at the uh, calendar view of LMN scheduling. So the calendar view is just a, a way of sort of like the daily whiteboard, but backing it up and looking at either an entire month or a specific week if you want to get a little uh, more granular. There's a week or a month tab up here, which will allow you to get um, either zoom out or zoom in. For construction type work, month is probably a great way to look at what's coming up for the crew. Maintenance type work, you probably want to use the, the week view as there's a lot of jobs each day and, and the, the schedule gets tighter. But the calendar view gives us a bigger picture than the daily whiteboard. Daily whiteboard is one specific day. Calendar view can give us that month or week view of a, a particular crew schedule. A couple things to note, you can show all or just some of the calendars. I prefer to show all so that I don't accidentally overlook something that's been scheduled. I always like to have all the calendars showing. The calendar view is viewable for only one crew at a time. That's because if we can show multiple crews on this calendar, the actual events themselves would be so tiny, you couldn't make out what the name or, or type of the event is. So you can look at the calendar view for any crew, but you can only look at one crew at a time. That's by flipping that, and that'll go through one at a time and show you what's been scheduled for that crew. But that way, at least the stuff is readable and actually uh, usable. If you wanted to filter it down by manager, so if you just wanted to see the jobs that you're managing in this time frame, you could just select yourself as the manager. I'm going to leave it as all in this case. And then if you want to show weekends or hide weekends, you can just use that, that checkbox here to show or hide weekends. So if you do schedule work on weekends, and I have a bit, so I'll leave it on. I'm going to keep that on. Um, moving around the schedule view, like I showed you, the month or the week toggle switch here will show you either the month view or the week view. And over here, I can either jump to today or I can go forward and backward a month. So I'm in December 2014 now. If I click the forward button, I'm going into January. And if I click the backward button, I'm going into this back to December. So here's my schedule for install crew A. You can see here I've got the smiley front yard job from the first to the fifth. And then we jump over to the Albert's job for two weeks. And then we actually go back to the smiley job. And maybe in this case, for some reason, we had to wait for something else to be installed before we went back. Um, making changes to this view is probably your fastest way to make um, scheduling changes. So here you can see we were working on the Smiley job, and then we went to Albert's, and we went back to Smiley for whatever reason. We needed a two-week delay. Let's say the reason for that delay was eliminated. We were waiting on a material, for instance, that now is available, so we don't need the delay. This is the best way to make a change. I could do the daily whiteboard, but remember the daily whiteboard is for day-to-day -day changes. It just is for one specific day. So you have to go to each day and move stuff around to make the right changes. Way easier to make sort of bigger changes at, at this level. So for instance, to get the smiley job back up here, let's say we want to finish it on the 9th and then move to Albert's. All I need to do is this. I'm going to grab the date that I had on the 22nd and move it up to the 8th. Now it's going to ask me, hey, you've had some dates after the 8th. Do you want me to reschedule that time or leave it alone? I'm, I'm going to reschedule it. So I'm going to bring it up right after that. So now I've got the two smiley dates on there. But now, obviously, I've got a double a conflict here. I've got the same crew scheduled to two jobs. So I need to push out the Alberts job. So to do that, I'm just going to grab the Alberts first visit, and I'm going to move it here to the 10th. And when I do that again, it's going to say, hey, I'm going to clear out all the, the, the days and reschedule this based on starting on the 10th. You want to do that? I'm going to click OK. And sure enough, it'll do that. So now I've got no conflicts. And in two seconds, I created this crew schedule with the right amount of, um, right around of, of, of days at the end and the beginning of the jobs. And that's about as easy as it. And maintenance crews work the same way. Uh, I've got some maintenance jobs over here on the Saturday. If I wanted to move it from one Saturday to the next Saturday, I just grab it and move it. It's that simple to uh, to reassign. Now, maintenance jobs, you're getting into route changes as well. So you may want to go back and optimize your routes based on the change you made. If, if I had other sites scheduled on the 20th, I want to make sure I'm still doing them in the right order and in the most efficient order. But for construction scheduling, where you're mostly doing one job a day, um, you don't even need to do the route optimization. You can just drag and drop. So calendar view will give you that. And then um, the only other thing I can do on the calendar view is obviously add new jobs. So down here at the bottom, if I go to add job to calendar, I can grab a new job and add it to my schedule. So if I just landed a construction job, I could import it into element time. So I have the job set up in element time. Now go down here, add it to the calendar, and it'll show up on my calendar here.